Coach Gray. So the Civil War. Um, your experience. I mean, because now you've you, you can kind of see it from both sides. I mean, not being out there and then now on the sidelines. I mean, what does the Civil War mean to you? Uh, it's just it was a great game. I mean, it's it's very competitive. Obviously, having the two schools that close to each other, it's a great rivalry. You know, the fans, the energy around the game. It's just a great experience. Do you have a, a, maybe a memory that stands out when you were? Uh, probably the junior year, you know, beating Oregon 50 to 21 or something like that. You know, that's probably the best one. <laughs> what do you remember about that game? Uh, just, you know, we needed it to be bowl eligible. You know, both of us did, both teams. And uh, we came out and it, it was a good game. And we kind of broke away in the second half and, you know, got that sixth win to go play in the inside bowl. You know, now that you're, you're kind of on the coaching staff, do you – in terms of the emotions that come with a rivalry game, do you try and play into those, or do you try and kind of block them out when you're helping the guys prepare? Uh, it's it's it hasn't even been a conversation. You know, you got to focus on what they, they do, because you know after the first snap, you know all that other stuff goes away. You know that has no bearing on the game. It's about executing and, and being in the right spot and making plays. Uh, it's Oregon offense. They're uh, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, how do you stop them? Or slow them down. You got to slow them down. The first it starts with tackling. You know they make a lot of plays in, in yards after contact. So you got to eliminate. They're going to get big. They're going to get their plays. I mean they're they're good. They're talented. So you got to limit them and then not create bigger plays by missing tackles. Um, Marcus Mariota, uh, first year behind center for them, and he's been one of the most dynamic players in the country. You played. You guys were able to you know play against Brett Hundley, Matt Scott. What makes Mariota different or better, if at all? Uh, the system he's in, I mean, you know, he's surrounded by a ton of speed and then he's extremely athletic and he can throw the ball well, you know, so that creates problems because he's, he's not just one of those guys that can only run the ball. He can, he can make the tight throws. So he creates a lot of problems that way. So in terms of kind of approaching him and, and this offense, your position, the linebacker is really important to this game. I would, you wonder that. Yeah, uh, I think everyone is. I mean, really, you know, the front. The front, I think that's what Stanford did a great job of. Their front controlled the game, you know, and, and then the linebackers have to do a good job being in the right spots, making tackles along with the, you know, the safeties. Um, DJ and Mike Dock, I mean, their, their speed obviously really important, getting sideline to sideline against, against this offense. Um, it, I mean, does that, do you feel like that better prepares the Beavers to face Oregon State? Uh, I mean, is there similarities between what the linebackers here do and what Stanford does? Or a little different. No, it's it's different. I mean, we're obviously we're not as as big as Stanford, you know. But the the speed helps, you know, being able to run. We got pretty good speed at backer and in the secondary, so that that helps as far as just getting eleven guys to the ball, being able to rally and and close windows. In, in terms of watching that Stanford game, did, did you feel that tackling was something that they did really well, which is why the result maybe was the way it was? Because you talked about the mm -hmm. importance. Absolutely, you know Stanford's a good football team, which everyone knows, and they just did a great job of being in position and then making the tackle and not letting, you know, extending plays.